if you have an atom and you have these energy states with one being the lowest energy level and you have higher and higher energy levels as you go up. If the atom decays from a higher energy state down to the ground state, it's part of what we call the Lyman series. So if you have Lyman alpha, it decays from the second to the first, Lyman beta from the third to the first, and then gamma is from the fourth to the first. So depending on how many levels it jumps, it's alpha, beta, gamma and you go through the Greek alphabet. And in a similar fashion, if it decays from a high energy state down to the second level, it's part of what's called the Balmer series. So again, if you jump from three to two, then you have Balmer alpha. And if it's from four to two, you have Balmer beta. And there are similarly other names for if they decay to the third state, depending on what their end level is, they fall into different series. Let's say we have a hydrogen atom and it's currently just been excited into its third energy state. From this point, it's now primed to decay. The most common decay from this state would be a Lyman beta decay so that it jumps straight down to the ground level. But the one we actually use is the less common Bulma alpha decay where it jumps from the third to the second. And that's what people often refer to when they're talking about hydrogen alpha. That is the Bulma alpha decay of the hydrogen atom. 